Hey guys, welcome back to About Technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add subtitles to your video and many other tips that will help you out to handle these subtitles the way you want it. I will also share you how you can upload subtitle files separately so that if your audience want to turn them on or off, they can. Or if you want the subtitles to be burned into the video, we're gonna burn them in. So let's start. So we are on resolve in edit mode and if you can see I have added a part of my previous video to show how the things will work. Now to add subtitles, first you have to add subtitle track. So above this video track, at the left margin, just right click and click on add subtitle track. This will add a subtitle track over here. Now you can add multiple tracks if you are adding subtitles in various languages. But at a time, only one will be active. If required, we can rename the track as to remind you for what it is. So let's rename this. Now we have subtitle track, so let's add subtitles. So right click on the subtitle track and click on add subtitle. It will add a subtitle frame above your video track. Or what you can do is, let's just delete this. Or what you can do is go to effects titles and title scroll down below and here you have subtitle drag the subtitle over your video track in subtitle track now it is the length of the subtitle i want to end it over here as you can see i have halted here before talking further so now select the subtitle go to inspector panel and under video you have caption at first you have in and out time next you have to write the text that you want to appear in subtitles. To add the subtitle text, let's hear what I was saying in this section. So let's play the video. In this video tutorial, so I was saying in this video tutorial. Let's write it here. Next, you have a checkbox of customized caption. If you check this in, you can change caption style. That is, you can change the font family of the subtitle text, font face, color size alignment position now let's change the color of the text as it is white we will change it to black now even i want to change its position i want it little bit downwards and done next you have add new button previous and next button which will help you to navigate between the subtitle frames and then you have list of all your subtitles with sequence number their in and out time the text they have and their CPS that is character per second. Beside caption you have track. Here you can customize the caption even more like here you can style and position, you can add stroke, you can transform subtitles, you can add drop shadow and even you can add background to your subtitles. Now let's get back here and add few more subtitles. As you can see I have added all the subtitles frame over here. Now if you want to change its style, position or add a stroke or transform or add a shadow or you want to change its background, you can simply make the changes in track. Whatever changes you make in track will reflect in all the subtitles present over here. But still, if you want to particularly edit a subtitle, then simply click it and go to caption and you can edit it over here. Or you can do is select the subtitle from the list and edit it over here. So now let's move on. So far we have added subtitles, we have customized their appearance. Now if you want, you can link subtitles to your video so that whenever you shuffle your video, your subtitles move with the video. For that, select all the subtitles along with the video and audio, right click on the video and go to link clips. Now if you select your video and shuffle it around the track, you can see that the subtitles are also shuffling along with your video. Doing this much, let us see how you can export your subtitles. For that, go to file menu, here go to export. In export, you have to click on subtitles. Now browse the location where you want to save it like I want to save it on desktop so I would prefer desktop and here you can rename the subtitle file. Let's say I am naming it as English subtitles and go to save. Now let us see how it has been saved. You can see that the file is saved here English subtitles and it has .srt format. Let's open it with notepad and see what it has. So I will go to open with and here I will click on notepad. If you can notice we have the sequence number of each subtitle, we have their in and out time and we have the text. 
Now let's try the second way to export subtitle file. For that, go to Deliver tab. In Custom Export, you have to go to Subtitle Settings. Now here, you have to explicitly check this checkbox Export Subtitle. Now it will ask you the way you want to export it. Now it will ask you the way you want to export it. If you want to export it as a separate file, then after rendering, you will get two separate files, one of video and one of subtitles. Exporting them as an embedded caption will take the track that you select and it's going to embed it into the metadata layer of that file. Next, if you burn it into the video, then subtitles are going to be burned in into the video and the audience will have no option to turn them on or off. They just have to see the video along with the subtitles. Now let us first export subtitle as a separate file. For that, here you have to select as a separate file. Now here export as a SRT file. And here you can select the subtitle tracks that you want to render. So I will only select this English subtitle as I only have subtitles in this track only. Now let's go above and browse the location to save the video. Let's say I'm saving it on desktop. Okay, this is the file that we export earlier. Let me delete this so that we can get an actual view of what's happening. So let's delete this. And now I'm saving the video as a sample. Save. Here you can see the location is desktop and the name of the file is sample. In the export subtitle, I have been exporting it as a separate file in .srt format and only English subtitle track will be rendered. So let's add to render queue and here render all. Now let's check the way it has downloaded. As you can see, we have two files here. First is the sample file that is the video in mp4 format and next is the English subtitles. So when we export it as a separate file, we get, we get two separate files one of video and one of subtitles. Now let me play this for you. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about connecting devices that we use. You can see that there are no subtitles down below. Now let's go back. Now this time, we are going to export as burn into the video. Add to render queue. Now here, it's, it is asking whether you want to replace the existing file or you want to rename. So let's rename. Here, we will add burn into the file. We'll keep the location same and again, add render to queue. Now let's render. Now let's go back to our folder and see what it has rendered. Go to desktop. Now here, these two files are result of earlier rendering and this is the new one. You can see that it has named sample burn into the file. So let's play it. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about connecting devices that we use. We can clearly see that the subtitles has been burned into the video and here your audience do not have any option to turn them off. Now let's say what if if you want to import the subtitle files. So to see that let's go back to edit mode. Let me delete these subtitles. First I have to unlink them. Now selecting these subtitles. Let us delete. Now to import the subtitles again go to file import and here you have subtitle. Now let us go to desktop. Here you can see that we have English subtitle SRT file that we have exported when we exported as a separate file. So let us select this and open. We can see that it is in our media pool. So let us drag this and bring it to subtitle track and place it on the position you want. So that's all about subtitle. If you want to know how you can fade in or out an audio in DaVinci Resolve, please click the video at the top right corner of your screen. So that's it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve videos, please subscribe this channel. It will notify you when any new content comes out. Feel free to comment what other new videos would you like to see in future. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next. Bye-bye.